What's up guys? I'm with the senior files. I'm interviewing Connor right now. Okay. Hello. Tell me a little about yourself. Hi everyone, my name is Connor Castle. I am currently 19 years old. As of this year, I will be 20 by my birthday, which is coming up in July. Um, I've been at, at I've been going to the Harvard School for quite some time, though. Um, I feel very nervous and, and a, a little bit scared that that that, I'm, that I'll be graduating. How long have you been at the Harvard School? I don't really know. All I do know is that I first started in the sixth grade and I was younger then. <gasps> what is your favorite subject? My favorite subject is art and my favorite thing to do for art is graphic design. But before that I used to love doing I I absolutely loved to draw. However, since since I've start, started doing graphic design and stuff, I feel like I've I'm slow, slowly losing my ability to draw, which is kind, which is kind of unfortunate, if you ask me. <gasps> what, is there one, what is one of your favorite memories here at Harvard? One of my favorite memories is, well, I have, I can't name specific ones, but I do know that I loved going to the Career Center, which which where we are right, which is where we are right now. And I also loved going to the Sandy Point Beach every summer. And uh, I think that's about it. What is one thing you would have done differently? Um, I'm not sure if I can think of one. Ooh. Do you have any plans after graduation? <laughs> one of my top plans after graduation is to, is to pursue a career in graphic design or web design. I like that, I like that. Uh, do you have any advice? Keep pursuing your dreams and no matter how many uh, obstacles that, that, that may get in your way, just keep going and don't give up. Do you have a senior quote? Just keep going when, when pursuing your dreams and don't let any obstacles stop you. No matter how hard it may seem to keep going, just know, know that somehow, in some way, you will achieve your dreams. Though how how you will achieve it is is up to you. And also, well, I guess it's up to fate to decide that as well. Do you have any shout outs? I, like I would like to give a special shout out to all the teachers that I really got along with well, and especially um, e even though there were some that I I could have gotten along with better, I'll, I'll still give a shout out to a lot of them. And the, one of them, one of the top ones would be um, I would like to, sh to give a special shout out. To Ms. Kohler for helping me expand my graphic design skills, um, and Ms. Murshahi for allowing me to get, for giving me the chance to um, co co come here again and and spend time with the with those that I enjoy spending time with, and get, getting the chance to work, work on graphic design work graphic design work on graphic design project, projects here. And also, I would like to give a special, sh another shout out to Miss Evans for helping me per persevere through my my, spe my speech issues and helping me improve my, my my social skills and stuff like that. And a shout out to my parents for all that they've done for me over the years, and my ABA therapist, Miss 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 Elizabeth Argo Wilbanks. She's my ABA therapist, and she she's she's a really nice person. I I cherish sp spending time with her with her whenever she had the chance to come to my place for a session. And uh, one more shout out I would like to give to 
is Dr. P because, well, she, she, she's really nice, she's very patient, and I really appreciate her help, help understanding my, my frustrations and my concerns with, with certain everyday, everyday things, like whatever, whatever classes I have trouble in the most, and uh, whatever else I have trouble with. So I think that's about it. Okay, thank you, Connor. Thank you, you're welcome. We'll see you in a few more.